everybody, welcome back to Furniture Flipping Teacher. I'm Lauren and today we are going to be measuring for tile. Our local store, Nebraska Furniture Mart, is having a huge Memorial Day sale and we wanna take full advantage of it. So we have chosen out the tile for the bathroom. We went with this hexagon shaped tile that is like an elongated hexagon from Nebraska Furniture Mart. We actually went and got samples a few months back. This very, very closely matches the tile in the kitchen, which is also the color that I am gonna be bringing into every single room throughout the Airbnb. So this is gonna be an accent in here. And then we are gonna do the smaller scale hexagon tile sheets as well. And this is gonna go on the floor as well as a lot of the walls in here. We are not completely sure what we're gonna be doing about the window situation, but we do know that we are gonna be removing all of, all of this one and then possibly leaving that one or removing some of it. Not 100% sure yet, but we're gonna get some rough measurements of the walls that the tiles are gonna go on so that we can go get them ordered so we have time for them to come before it's time to actually start laying the tile. So let's measure. All right, so the first place we'll measure is this whole entire wall. We're gonna get some white tile for the wall here. Okay, so that is, we'll say 90 inches. For the floor, I think the best, easiest way is to kind of just measure that little area and then we'll measure this whole area. One thing that we haven't really talked too much about is the bathtub. So we've gone back and forth a lot about what we're going to do to make this bathroom just the most functional and flowy. So with us taking this window out, we're also going to be getting rid of this tub. It's, it weighs like 500 plus pounds, so we're going to hopefully have some help from either our contractors or a friend or something like that. And, okay, yeah, we're going to hopefully enlist some help to get this tub out of here. Otherwise, Neiman and I are gonna have to break it, um, which it's made of fiberglass cast iron, and we've heard that it's not the easiest thing to do, and plus it splinters all over the place, so we'd rather not do that. Our goal is to get this removed and then find a cast iron tub that is a claw foot tub and put that in here. We want it to be a little bit away from the wall, and so that is why we're gonna be surrounding it with tile so that it's all basically waterproofed. And that's another reason why we're taking the window out just so that that doesn't end up rotting out in the future. And I am looking really heavily on Facebook Marketplace right now to find a claw foot tub. We found one up the road. It's $500 and it needs a little bit of repairs and I'm just unsure if I wanna spend that much if it needs a little bit of repairs and I might just get a cheaper one that still needs repairs, meaning to be like re-poured and re -poxied. Um, So instead of buying a more expensive one, I might buy a cheaper one and still do the same process. So with the accent tile, I am going to run it along the um, middle section probably a little bit taller than the middle of the wall and run it this way side to side so that it will just be a little bit of fun in the tile design and then I'll end up putting this tile right below it and then also right above it and then I'll just have to cut some half tiles right there which will be no no big deal we actually already have a tile saw. It's not a water one, so I might invest in renting out a water one so that it's just a little bit easier and safer to do, but we'll see. But anyway, I am going to now measure this, measure how long this area is that we need to put it, and that'll tell me how many of these we need to order as well. So this is four and a half inches this way and I'm gonna need them to go all the way along that wall. 
which is 90 inches. So I'll need to do some math for sure and do 90 divided by four and a half to figure out how many on this wall I'll need. And then this wall over here is 64. So I'll need to do 64 divided by four and a half to see how many on that wall we'll need to order as well. Okay. And then 64 divided by... Okay. And what was the second one? 64 divided by 4.5. 14.2. Perfect. So we'll need to order 35 of these guys, and I'll probably order about 40 of them just so that I make sure to have enough in case any of them break or anything like that. I don't wanna have to be waiting for them to come again because these are ones that we'll have to have on order. So with that being said, all the measurements are done. We are getting closer and closer to being able to continue or actually just start this makeover in general. So let's go ahead and go to Nebraska Furniture Mart. Well, before we actually head out, we decided that we're gonna get some measurements of the floor here in the sunroom because they're also having some sales on flooring, laminate, vinyl, all that jazz. By 275. To Nebraska Furniture Mart we go. some samples so that we could take them home, check out what it looks like with all the lighting and how it will just look within the room, which I think is a really cool thing to do because it looks like this in this lighting, but when we get the natural sunlight with a little bit of the shades of the tree, how's it gonna look? So sweet, let's go see if they have it in stock so we can get it today, okay, not today, <laughs> sooner than later. first pick of floor for the sunroom is this one, Marina, but there's eight boxes that are coming in in the 27th of June, but eight boxes won't quite complete the sunroom, but then the rest of the boxes don't come in till July. And I'd really like to get going on this floor like pretty soon. So we have picked out a couple of other ones. There's this one. That's called Springfield Oak. And we it's very similar. This one is actually coming in on like Tuesday. And there's plenty of boxes for that. We would only need about seven boxes of this one and they're getting about 10 in. But then we also liked this one. And this one is actually currently in stock. So now we're just getting samples of all three, I think. The marina one is out just because of timing, um, but these other two are pretty good contenders. So we're gonna go ahead and take the samples home, see how they look in the room, see how they look even with the accent color wall and all that jazz and pick out which flooring we're gonna go with in the sunroom. We made it home with all of our samples and we did wait till the next day because it was dark when we left Nebraska Furniture Mart and we needed to make sure we were able to see the samples in the light. So the samples are for the sunroom only since this is the only room that just has plywood. We need to figure something out. So 
This one was the original floor that we really liked. It's called Marina. Now, Marina isn't going to arrive at Nebraska Furniture Mart for like a month or two, and that's just not gonna cut it for our timeline, so we tried to get some that matched as close as we could. So we've got two options that we are going to be looking at. The first one is very similar. Um, it's a similar style to the Marina. Um, it's all gonna be LVT and it's gonna be clicked together, really easy to install and I've done it before, so perfect. This one's Springfield Oak. And then this one is a little bit different. It's wider and it also will have a bevel in the middle of each and every piece. And this one is called da, 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 da. Oh, right in front of my face. Butternut Walnut Natural. These are the two that we've got to choose from. I'm just going to click them together so that we have a little bit more space to look at. So there is the Butternut Walnut Natural. Obviously, these are just samples, so they'll come in long planks. Um, but they were so generous to give out these free samples so that we could take them home and check them out. Butternut Walnut and the Springfield Oak. At the store, I was leaning more toward the Springfield Oak. I really liked the way that it wasn't beveled at all, but you could still see the differences between each plank and I like the width of them. Then the butternut walnut, they're thicker planks, and then you can see that tiny bevel. It's not a painted bevel, but it is a little bit of a bevel there. So that is just some things to think about for us when we're choosing out the floor. On the actual sample that they had of the butternut walnut natural, there were some knots and different designs that Neiman and I both weren't too sure about. And that's what's one thing that's difficult about looking at the samples is you were not able to see the entire plank and in each box, every single one of them is going to be different. We're gonna be able to place them wherever we want them. So maybe we could put them under a couch or under a bed or something like that so that we could see or not see the ones that maybe we didn't like because I'm sort of leaning more toward the larger planks. So which one do you think? So you said you were kind of leaning towards this one, but I want to treat it as if we have to make a decision right now, right here, can't take it back. So on three, we're gonna pick which ones that we would pick? Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> Great. I think we're gonna need your guys' help on this one. <laughs> yeah, except we wanna go order it right now. <laughs> so we're not gonna be able to wait for you guys' help. <sighs> what do you like about that one? I like the smoothness, like the, I don't like the seeing the bevel. Okay. Um, and I think it's a little bit lighter and I feel in the bigger pieces that we'll get, these are going to show the mess or the knots or yeah. cosmetic naturalness of the, the wood. one, the, the stuff that we saw in the sample is going to be a lot more evident in yeah. the bigger pieces. Is that the one? Yeah. Oh. And then I thought I liked that one better. So, I mean, I honestly like both of them. So I'm fine to go with that one because like you said at the store, I did not like this one at all. Yeah. So. And price wise? That one was cheaper. It's about a dollar cheaper per square foot. So that helps. Yeah, so we need about 172 square feet. Yeah, so we'll get a little bit more than that. I'm pretty sure we discussed with Christopher that it was gonna be about seven boxes of that. Yeah, So. and this stuff just came in yesterday. I think so, yeah, because when we were there, he was checking this was available right now, and then this was becoming available within the next couple of days, so 
We're gonna go to Nebraska Furniture Mart, but first, our contractor is oh, yes. here, so we need to talk with him really quick about stuff that we're gonna be doing in the bathroom, and then we will be able to head over to Nebraska Furniture Mart and get some flooring, and hopefully, crossing our fingers, that it will come home with us today, even though we won't start laying it until after we get Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Let's do it. seven boxes so Ooh. holy guacamole <sighs> good thing we only needed seven and good thing we got contractors doing this because they're bringing that stuff upstairs oh no we're doing that yeah we're putting the floor down <sighs> well i think that does it for this video right yeah Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Be sure to get subscribed down below so that you don't miss a minute of this Airbnb makeover. We'll see you on the flip side.